Justin coming. Sorry, I'm going to be speaking over you two. <laughs> Um, we're live. We're in the car because the conditions are pretty brutal outside right now. This is the conditions that these guys are working in. And um, they're searching for Audrey Cunningham. She's an 11 year old missing girl, blonde hair, blue eyes, four foot one, 75 pounds. She was last seen with a gentleman by the name of Stephen McDougall, which was questioned yesterday, and actually is driving a uh, beat up blue suburban, similar to what was released by law enforcement here in the area of a, a vehicle of interest. We have learned that he has now since been arrested on maybe unrelated charges. We're a little hazy on the charges that he was uh, arrested on. It was aggravated uh, battery or something to that effect with a fun on that. What we have seen on site here is we have seen a, a larger presence of FBI than we saw yesterday and uh, we're seeing some activity going on with the positioning of the vehicles almost implying that there is something out here uh, that they're looking at or looking into a little bit deeper right now. We are stationed in the vehicle um, because again the conditions are pretty brutal out there and God bless the men and women that are out there searching for this beautiful 11 year old child that disappeared uh, around 7 a.m. on Thursday February 15th. She has not been seen or heard from since and unfortunately it appears that it was somebody from inside her own home that was staying with her father and her grandmother at the time of her disappearance. We've done a extensive background on him and he is not a good guy at all. So guys, give me just a second. I'm going to try to pull you up and sit you down ever so slightly so you guys at least have some stationary. So see some pretty serious equipment here. FBI presence. We didn't see this yesterday. And again, I'll show you a picture of the roommate of Audrey's father who was arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon last night. Good idea. I'll show you a picture of this, this, um, uh, So while she's doing that, I'll show you guys as well. This guy, he has a massive rap sheet of arrests. Look at this. Ooh. Can I see that for a second? Look at this, guys. The man, the roommate, who supposedly lives on the property where Audrey was living. This is his arrest records. I mean, there's, I think, more than just this. That's pretty extensive. Extensive rap sheet here. Extensive rap sheet, guys. And again, this is a, you know, we're, we're very sensitive to the fact that um, this gentleman lived in the house with his father. So we're just going to try to keep this uh, as educational as possible and just say that you please, please, please don't put your children around your friends, especially if you don't know their background or if you do know their background but don't think it's going to happen to you, it's not worth, worth the risk. This could be the outcome of trusting somebody with your child right here. This is the way our world is becoming. We see this all too much. This is happening almost on a daily right now in this country and it's, it's bad. Good morning, everybody that's here. EquiSearch has been here since 6 a.m. from my understanding. Eleven-year-old Audrey Cunningham missing uh, the day before yesterday. She didn't make it to school, didn't make it to, to the bus stop. And there's this screenshot that's been going around on the Facebook groups. And this is what it shows. Um, again, this is alleged, but this is something I'll show you guys. A conversation between the man that was arrested last night, who is the roommate. Conversation between him and um, Audrey's mother, I believe. Yes, yes. mother. Her, her biological, her biological mother. mother. He said, 
hey, have you seen Audrey? I dropped her off at the bus and she didn't get on. Hasn't gotten home. And he was arrested last night. And he also um, has a blue Suburban. And this is the blue Suburban that investigators um, believe is a vehicle of interest. Right. And this is his vehicle. And I'll show you a picture of him being interviewed yesterday. Wait, let me put my brightness. There you go. So here's a picture of Steve McDougal, the roommate who was arrested yesterday being interviewed on the side of the road. And look, there's a blue suburban. Trying to get to that video. <laughs> Here he and is. that actually, yeah, so it's actually a video. Um, this is a screenshot from a video of that um, See the blue a suburban? person took. And he was laughing. Laughing and joking with the officers like nothing. Sick. He's joking and laughing. I just want to put this in perspective. A day or two after the child that he was living with, cohabitating with, has been missing for two days and he thinks it's a joke. Allegedly, a backpack was found. This is not confirmed, this is alleged, but that is um, what people believe is the reason why there is such a presence in this specific area. I wish I could show you an aerial view of this location but it is right next to a dam, a massive dam and a huge um, reservoir that's behind it and a, and, a, and a river that goes for miles. So this wood line right here um, is alongside a river and the dam is right, it's right behind these bushes out here. You can't really see it well. Let me go pull up a um, video on my phone to show you guys this. Damn, I actually posted a video on my uh, on my TikTok where you can see, but let me just show you. Sorry guys, I'm trying to find the damn myself. Look at this. Look at the current and the waves. This thing is massive. And right there, boom. So right here, you see that vehicle right there? That's where we are right now. And that's where the die, um, Supposedly the uh, divers are out and the search dogs are in this wooded area to the left of this dam. But there is FBI presence. Um, yesterday, I don't think, did we see FBI yesterday? I didn't notice them. Not that that, that didn't it... didn't notice them yesterday. Yeah, not that it didn't happen, but I just didn't notice them. Oh, FBI walking right there I can tell you the Samsung though when it's up to the 20 um, times it's not near as clear as your 15 just really? you know. your 15 times is much clearer than my 20 times Mm -hmm. Another reason for you to get a uh, hash, 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 you know. <laughs> <laughs> the Android or the iPhone dis d debate continues. Oh, yeah, so right here they open the truck up. So I assume that's a forensics vehicle. Yes, she went missing Thursday morning at 7 a.m. Where Audrey lives is about five miles away from this location. And on her property is was um, a, a man living there named Steve McDougal who was arrested uh, last night. Um, the roommate was arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. And may I um, just, uh, there's a few things in these text messages that I wanted to uh, point out. 
um, to everybody is that he tried, even though he knew that um, Audrey's father was trying to keep Audrey away from the, her mother, he was actively working to try to upend that. So Stephen was working both sides of the fence. He was talking to, you know, living with um, Lucky, which is Joshua Cunningham, and and his mother, but also speaking and talking and, and, and informing the mother about Audrey, even though the family didn't want her to have any contact. And he even alleged saying that, why don't you go to the fishing dock or the fishing pier? And I'll just happen to pull up with her in the car. And I just find and that sent chills up my spine because we are here at a dock where this child is allegedly somewhere in this area. And it just, it was very chilling to say the least when I read that comment. FBI. Right there. I'm gonna have to hold on. I'm gonna try to get some shots while we're live here. Uh, oh yeah. They're females. Most of them are females. Got the Texas game warden out here too. Sorry guys. This is Livingston, Texas. 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham never made it to her school bus stop in the early morning hours at 7 a.m. on Thursday, February 15th. We're not exactly sure why they have, um, law enforcement and FBI are focused on this particular area. They haven't released whether they have um, found anything. I'm sure we will find that out soon. But there is a massive body of water behind this uh, this forest line. A massive dam with a big current, a river and a large lake, a reservoir behind the dam. And just to give you a perspective, I'll show you. So the blue dot is where we are right now. Look at that huge reservoir. Uh, let me zoom in here. So there's the Lake Livingston Dam. And the blue dot's where we are. And they're searching along this ridge line right here. If you look at my last TikTok video, you'll see um, the video I did of, of the dam to show you where they're searching along the side of it. Why is all this movement going on? That's what I want to know. We don't usually see this where everybody just keeps moving their cars and moving their cars and moving their cars. And it just, this is weird for me. It feels like there's a reason for it. They're making a line of cars. Why are they making a line of cars? Maybe they're blocking it they off. They are blocking it off. That is exactly what I feel like they're doing here. They're blocking any angles off for photography. There's something going on here. I've seen this maneuver done many times. So, I think it's because we released the information that they we know they have evidence, but they pretty much acknowledged that they had evidence out here. They just didn't, wouldn't disclose what they've found. But there's definitely some type of movement over here. They, 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 there's something going on. I don't know what, but there's a lot of conversations. The only 
the update as of now is that the roommate of 11-year-old Audrey's father was arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon last night. They have not confirmed if that is related to Audrey exactly. Um, he does drive a blue Suburban and investigators believe that this blue Suburban is a vehicle of interest. If anybody has any information about Stephen McDougall, his whereabouts the day of February 15th, you are asked to call law enforcement. Doesn't matter what law enforcement, just call 911 or pick up and call the FBI. If you have any type of video videography or photography on that day and something stands out as weird or unusual, maybe something that's not, maybe it's not, um, anything bad is just unusual call law enforcement and let them know here oh wait okay it's driving down okay that hasn't happened yet that has well, no they're blocking something this yeah. is this is oh wait a minute Let, let's see what he's doing let's see what he's doing Okay, he's not blocking right. it. Okay, good. The constable's here. No, they're not lining up. Hold on, let me mute my... All right, guys, so this is what uh, I'm gonna do. I think if you guys wanna see any more, uh, Olivia's got her TikTok up. I'm gonna drop down off of YouTube for a little bit. Um, we do have some movement out here, but we don't know what the movement means. It may be nothing, it may be something insignificant, um, but you know, we're seeing the lining of the vehicles, which we didn't have yesterday. It might just be so they have their materials. And I've noticed we don't have as much uh, law enforcement um, out here today as we did yesterday. This is more strategic searching, so you need different types of law enforcement with different types of capabilities out here. So that's what you're looking at here. Not that law enforcement is not out here in force, it's just that now they're, they're needing to bring in certain professionals to do certain types of work because of the conditions that they're out in. We've got to have, you know, water searchers. Uh, we have to have different types of, of law enforcement. This is, so I think we have the people out here doing the um, actual searches today. So, and they were doing searches yesterday, don't get me wrong. It's just that now is more targeted and uh, they don't need as many bodies. All right, guys, I'll keep you guys posted. Stay tuned here to the Bullhorn Betty Crime Stories uh, channel here on YouTube. God bless.